2024 is almost over, but with the new season just around the corner and lots of fall hiking and camping, I have found new gear and things that I've added to my bag. And they might be things that you already have or things you're looking to add to your own bag. If you haven't seen my what's in my bag video for 2024, be sure to check that out. But in this video, I'm gonna go over new gear I've added to my bag in 2024. I do want to clarify at first, these are not all budget items, but things that have become essentials for me, and they might be something you would either want to save towards or get an idea of what you need. Okay, to start out, the first piece of new gear is actually my bag. This bag is from Northern Ultralight. It's their sundown bag. This bag can both be used for your day pack or just overnight hikes as well as your longer through hikes and camping trips. While it is your ultralight setup, it's very versatile with different things you can customize like the hip belt, the hip pockets, different straps that you can get for the shoulders. And overall, it can be designed just for what you need. I've taken this thing into some pretty harsh weather and tested it. It's held up very well and I'm very pleased with how this bag has turned out. Second is the Alton Nano Portable Espresso Machine. This looks pretty sick. Alton recently sent me this package with the Alton Nano, which is a portable espresso machine that can be taken pretty much anywhere you go. It comes in this nice package in green box and looks like it's made for the outdoors specifically. It has clear instructions. Definitely looks like a revolutionary way to drink coffee on trail. I have brought the Alton Nano espresso machine here on trail to test it out like I would if I was to hike with this. I'm gonna make some espresso right now and just show you what it looks like to use this on trail. All right, let's see how this shot goes. So this is where you get your shot from. Uh, very compact, screws right on to the bottom, and then it has its own cup, which is also really sweet. You add your water here on top. Process right there only took me like 30 seconds. It's all ready to go. All I have to do is press the button and let it do the work. If you want to be a coffee snob and make really good coffee while on trail or to serve it while on trail, this is the best way to do it. They've made it as easy as possible with the Alton Nano. So shout out to Alton. Be sure to go check out their website and be sure to hit the link in my description to get 10% off if you're interested in this. But yeah, as far as my review over this, 10 out of 10. Thanks for sending it my way. This is definitely gonna feel more bougie if I take this on trail and camp with it. If you're going ultralight, this might push your limit, but if you're more of a traditional backpacker and have the space and capacity to carry something like this, this might be a perfect way to make coffee on trail. Be sure to hit the link in my description and use my code to get 10% off. Again, this might not be for everyone, but this is something that has changed the way I wanna drink coffee on trail, especially in my day pack and when I do those sunrise hikes. Next is my Jet Boil. I had looked at getting a Jet Boil for a long time, had seen a lot of hikers who had used Jet Boil on trail, but for a long time, I would just buy the gas cartridge and a stove with a cup and just get by by doing that. While that is the budget way and does save a little bit of money, I decided to spend the 80 to $90 and get the packable jet boil, which has everything housed right in here. This really simplifies cooking and drinking on trail. It even has a cup or bowl that you could use on the bottom, and it just simplified my whole process. So while this can, after accessories and gas, cost you over $100, I think it's worth it. I think especially if you're doing a longer hike or a through hike, you need to get a jet boil. I guess if I'm talking about jet boil, it's also important to talk about something else. I recently bought a life straw this summer for a backpacking trip in Alaska. Went to REI, got the life straw itself for around 30 bucks. Container was about five bucks because I got it just reused. But this saves a lot of weight on my pack, not having to carry in or out all of my water, as well as a lot of time. If I get thirsty and need to take a break, I can stop by any river and just fill this up and have a full container of water ready to go. All right, so this has been some new gear in my bag for 2024. Thank you guys for checking it out. Again, if you haven't seen the What's In My Bag video, be sure to watch that. Looking forward to a lot more hiking and camping this fall season. As far as this video goes, thank you guys for watching so much. Keep exploring. We'll see you in the next one.